welcome to GA style people and today I've got a quite special one this time because um, we'll be actually doing something absolutely different what I've been doing so far well how to say absolutely different it's definitely not going to be music related uh, or amplifiers or subwoofers or stuff like that but I'm getting in this new project uh, recently it still needs quite a lot of work doing um, what do we have here is we've got Austin Mini proper classic and as you can see straight away in the first giveaway is it has absolutely wide as hell tires wide stands and the front as you can see has got a nice dip in here we've got aftermarket fuel tank uh, I'm gonna take these bolts off just for now to show what's inside there so with a magic took them off and this whole piece is made out of fiberglass so this is custom made fiberglass mold bonnet for the mini and this is what we have under the bonnet not a lot the engine is definitely not in here We've got some nice silicon hoses that are going all the way to the back where the engine is actually positioned. Uh, windscreen wiper, brake fluid, battery and whatever expansion tank horns. It's actually got air horns there <laughs> which is actually cool. I've never seen that one before since I've got getting it. I haven't had that much of a look but this is it what we have here. Uh, unfortunately one of the brackets is missing for the as you can see there the bracket is missing for the fastening to fasten down this hood but that way I have it so I am gonna be putting this all back together this is a race prepared one as you can see we've got nice Kirkley seat well basically Kirkley seat covers or whatever and we've got nice aluminium seats in there this is gonna get ripped out uh, we'll be getting new upholstery for the seat that is gonna get done by somebody else not by me uh, we've got a part or two point harness three point harness whatever uh, also tires We've got lovely tyres, these are brand new ones actually, uh, Yokohama, whatever, truck rate. The back ones are basically the same, just a bit wider than the front ones, as you look. You can see how much them stand out. Well, this is because I've got wheel turned on, but that's one of the things. Uh, OMP racing, steering, we've got dash, dash is missing at the moment, unfortunately. Uh, well how it's missing basically I do have the dash but it has to be cut to size and everything like that so it slides in perfectly uh, obviously it's a uh, aftermarket ECU is going on in here somewhere like I said I'm just getting it I'm just doing the first video just to overview what I've got and what is gonna be going on I'm still waiting for the keys to actually start it then here we have short shifter lovely gearbox uh, sorry lovely shifter <laughs> with a Honda Civic Muggin six speed gear knob although this gearbox is only a four speed one <clears throat> so what else what else what else roll cage as per usual in the race car so and we go on to the back to the heart of this car here we have a Honda as long as I'm aware I believe this is the K20 2 litre Honda Civic Type R engine and um, that's what I'm assuming because by the paperwork when I had a look it was saying that it had a Honda Type R engine and all the bits K20 so like I said we'll figure we'll find that one out Sims Simpson race exhaust looking lovely I love them 
these pipes is absolutely class. All custom made, everything's been custom modified, custom, uh, all all the chassis, all the like frame and all the bits and bobs, like all the suspension arms and everything, everything is custom for this, it has been made specifically for this, I believe the shell, uh, sorry not the shell but the Oh, what you call it, I forgot, basically the subframe and all that was about five grand or something like that. Then we have nice, lovely coil hours. <coughs> I have no idea which coil hours these are, but like I say, I'm just getting it. There's tons of paperwork that came with it. There's absolutely loads to go through to find out. And obviously, another thing what I'm going to have to be working, this is going to be we'll be doing some work on the engine because the engine apparently runs that's what I've been told but you never know but as long as it will start that's gonna be the good thing let's check if there's any oil inside actually what do we have here? yes we have some nice lovely oil it looks like it's absolutely brand new as well so that is a good sign, it's definitely been kind of look after, well obviously if you paid that much money for something like this you will be looking after, but what I've been told is that it has a leak on an injector, or injectors, so that's going to be the <clears throat> big issue for the engine that will have to be sorted, if it is the right one, if it is the case that I'll have to do it, but like you can see, all these suspension arms I don't think you can buy these aftermarket because there's a Lyman's the whole shebang basically the only original part of this mini I believe is just uh, <laughs> the shell and the floor pan unless it's been modified probably will probably has sorry because that doesn't look like it's supposed to be there obviously center console is gone all the original parts are gone. The roof, believe me or not, is not original because if you look into the grains, it's not, it's carbon fiber. This is a carbon fiber roof. It's carbon fiberglass from the inside and it will be carbon fiber layer on the top. I don't know why they painted it all now the gray, but I suppose it makes it look really cool. And as well, you notice it has no arch extensions which are coming doors are coming windows are coming from uh, side and back uh, tailgate uh, boot whatever that is coming as well so i'm still waiting for all the parts so i can start start uh, cracking on uh, kirkley racing fabrication yep so these are the kirkley seats aluminium ones or aluminum, aluminium, aluminum, whatever. Well, basically, this is this is the new project for for the GA style. Uh, I will definitely hit that subscribe button right now because it may be not straight away, but I will be bringing more updates about this one because as soon as all the parts are coming in here, we'll be starting cracking on. It will be a uh, first of all I want to hear it run before I do anything but obviously we'll put the doors on and stuff like that like you see I haven't got no hinges there are some sort of spots for the hinges but I don't know what's what's going on what's and what um, another thing I've noticed before that the pedal is just all over the place for the gas pedal sorry and there is no, there is literally nothing under the pedal. So this is this is gonna have to be sorted as the throttle cable, as long as I'm aware, was here. Oh yeah, you're looking at the cable. Another thing I'm gonna have to sort out is this fan because it touches the tank. It's too close, so we'll be coming up with sort of brackets uh, just to bring it bit further away from the tank so it's not hitting the tank or we might probably move the tank a little bit further unfortunately I don't think we will be able
won't be able to bring the tanko because of the push rod suspension like that as you can see the spring is literally really really close to it so uh, obviously I can't show you literally about everything about the car or the brake system well if you can see there we've got drilled and grooved and no, I just drilled front brake discs uh, the rears are brake discs as well so where can we see it yeah like just there we've got all four disc suspension suspension yeah cool uh, disc brakes but obviously what I would do if I was you I would straight away hit the subscribe button without a doubt because there's quite a few things I will be doing and as I'm doing I will be releasing new videos about this mini race truck build whatever <laughs> It's definitely going to be a lot of fun by the end of it's finished. Well, to be honest, not even going to be finished. As soon as it starts, it's going to be, yes, one step forward. Hopefully it goes very good. Like I say, I need to put all the doors, sort all the arches, extend the arches as well. When I turn the wheel, it's not going all the way. As you can see, it's starting to hit the metal on the half a lock and basically I'm gonna have to get these wide arches that are coming and then we'll be lining them up obviously cutting the rest of the metal that we don't need so we can clear that obviously the rears are gonna get cut as well because I don't think that when the suspension hits that won't hit the arch there so there's quite a lot of work to do on this one but it's gonna be fun so definitely people stay in tuned and keep a track of this little butte being brought back to brought back to life yeah that is one sexy thing <laughs> but yeah peeps this is this is what the score is with a mini at the moment uh, waiting for parts waiting for things once everything's come when everything comes we'll be starting cracking and that's it that's all i can see and that's all i can show you at the moment if you've got any if you've got any uh, advice any more info on the stuff what is in here if you know if you've seen it or blah 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 whatever let me know in the comments but i'm going to be cracking on with this and I will just keep you updated how it goes so thanks everybody for watching thanks everybody who shared me thanks everybody who subscribed already thanks everybody who's already been commenting and this that and the other really helps it but definitely i will catch you shortly with this one and that's it for this time Tara.